sounds like she's purring like a kid. She's purring. Oh! <laughs> that was that right there. That's the eternity. That was, that was, that was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got the Supra behind me and we're gonna be doing some more modification. We're gonna be doing a lot of things in this video. We're gonna throw more power at it. We have a new intake system and some other engine bay goodies and something on the interior that's pretty cool, pretty dope from Armist Speed. And in the same video, we're gonna put this thing on E30 finally. So we're gonna run ethanol fuel, more power, more intake noise. This is gonna be a big video. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's get it. All right, so for the sake of time in this video, we already have the Arma Speed intake installed, mostly. I do wanna go over a couple options that you can choose from when you order one of these intakes real quickly. Full carbon fiber intake, and this is supposed to be one of the best on the market and the loudest that you can get for your 2020 and up Toyota Supra. And the fitment is like OEM good. The carbon is fantastic. Like I said, we just went ahead and threw it on real quick just to uh, save a little bit of time. Get down here and you can look how everything sits. So you've got this rubber lining goes all the way down right inside here and it seals up all the heat that would enter into the intake system. Now, when it comes to the lids, there's three different choices. So you have regular carbon fiber that's going to match the intake tube itself. Looks pretty freaking cool. And the standard one though. That would be like a uh, Rhino line finish almost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a durable finish. Looks really good. So, all right, your third option is forged carbon fiber. This is my buddy Colton's car and he's doing a lot of work with his. It's got the downpipe, which we actually did the same one on mine. We are now free flowing, non cat friendly. Have a downpipe on the car now, finally, and we're going to be free flowing, allow some more power, and uh, get ready for E85, which is going to be coming, like I said, at the end of this video. We're going to do some pulls, do all that. They also give you this really cool filter here. So this is supposed to be one of the loudest systems on the market for your Supra. And you can see where I'm shoving my fingers down in here. So this has got like that, that internal cone as well. So we're going to do some flybys, some revs. We're going to do all the fun stuff in this video. But let's get this wrapped up, put this back on the car. But we have something else that Armor Speed has sent us. And this is going to be pretty sick to really finish off the engine bay. So we got titanium hardware here. Cool, it's going to look delicious under the hood. And we have these new strut tower braces. And they are forged. This is freaking cool. So for example, let's put this one to the side. Let's grab a stock one. All right, here's your stock crap that you could probably bend with one hand this is junk but we have the forged i think this is going to be a really cool addition to our engine base okay so we're going to install this in about two seconds this new forged carbon strut tower brace into our engine bay in combination with our armor speed intake in combination with our new catless downpipe and we're going to go down the road put this thing on e85 we want more power more sound more performance out of our 2022 Toyota Supra. Let's go. Here you go. If you want, I'll Dang, get the other. Look, look at quality, this. though. Yeah, this is titanium hardware, dude. I don't really know what the torque rating is on these, but it can't be that much. Forged carbon fiber. Oh, yeah. The stocky stock. It's going to look like that compared to forced yep all day long and this is the new hotness yes sir looks good so we're gonna do the other side but i'm excited to get this thing on e30 we skip the like i said the install of the cold air intake because if you don't know how to install one of these in about five minutes in your garage you probably shouldn't even be touching your car it's that easy they do come with instructions and all that so if you've never done one and there's a lot of tutorials on youtube for the sake of this video i said that we're going to skip it and just put it on the car because nobody cares about the install what people do care about i think is how it sounds how it performs and that's what we're going to be doing right now all right guys we are here e85 time so we're going to do an e30 blend oh by the way this is something else that we have from arma this is their uh extensions here paddle extensions and they stick on the back but it's i mean i was really worried if they like fall off or whatever they're solid whatever they're using the compound to stick to the oem is solid as concrete you can still click from the top which is pretty sick but this is their forged carbon fiber and they have different colors as well but guys all right it's time e85 let's go yellow handle we're off All right, here we are ready to go. We got E30 in. Real quick, by the way, this intake system 
is nuts. It's loud. You're going to hear it in just a second. But it's cool because it replaces the whole thing all the way down to that whatever connection is at the bottom. This is the whole thing. And it's all carbon. It's lightweight. And you can really hear it. So I'm excited to be able to translate this, hopefully on camera, um, the way I want it to. But at the Poppy box. Pops. Wow. That yeah, intake is really loud. So loud. I'm in love with this thing. All right, right turn, we're gonna hit these back roads. Stock suspension, stock wheels and tires, all of that. So just JB4, downpipe, and the intake, and now E30. So this is supposed to be the truth. I, at least it, this way it felt in your car. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the way it felt. So let's go down to about 35 mile an hour. We're gonna stab it. So not even gonna downshift. Let's just get straight. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, we laid the tires up. Okay. That's that's booking. That's a little faster. That's booking. Hopefully the E is mixed in enough. We think it is, but because it definitely feels faster. Uh, but let's do that a couple more times. That's freaking awesome. Let's go to the corners. Listen to our screen. I don't know if the intake is coming off on camera the way I want, but let me tell you, in person, it is screaming. That was that right there. That's the learning. That yeah. was that was that was. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh, that we were ice skating. <laughs> oh, that was that was. Oh my oh, yeah. gosh! All the way through. Oh boy. Thirty to <laughs> sixty. It's spinning the old. <laughs> I never did that crap before. Nope. All right, the E30 is definitely mixed in there now. Yeah, I think we, I think we have a full blend now. The car never <laughs> would never just light them up like that before. Oh man, I mean, we've been driving for like an hour. The tires are fully heated. They are definitely heated. We'll put it to the test. Definitely pinch you to the seat. Definitely faster. I think it's got more torque. It's kind of what it feels like. I mean. Skate the tires is kind of like the evidence of that, I guess. Mm -hmm. But well, these cars have always had low end torque, honestly, like a lot of low end. That torque. inline, that you know, the nature of an inline six, mm -hmm. you know, how the the the, the, uh, the the crankshaft actually cancels out on each end. They're torque monsters, basically. All right, so sounds great with the arm of speed, definitely. Again, go check out video descriptions and go check out their website. We got cool stuff. We got you want to go left? Mm -hmm. All right. So we got uh, their freaking cool. Oh my God, we're gonna die. You have to go. We're gonna like, die. You gotta go right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they got cool lid designs. You got the- Now he's gonna floor it. Like, what is up? Get you your the, Saturn out of here. So you got the carbon, you got the forge, and then you have that matte uh, uh, finished material. Great product, great fitment, great sound. Awesome, love it. Then we have the downpipe. It's East Coast Super, same one that you got. Mm -hmm. um, seems to perform just fine. And now we have E30 with the JB4. And wow, sounds freaking delicious. It is definitely freaking moving, dude. It's, it's definitely looking. moving. That's all we gotta do some flybys real yeah, quick. Yeah, do Chinese so. fire drill. You're sitting over here. You want me to film it? No, you're gonna sit over here. Okay, all right. Um, Seatbelts for safety. Seat belts for safety. All right, we'll go from a 30. We're going a little uphill too. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yep. But he's gonna do it again, I guess. He's gonna try to scare me. He's trying to try to get me. Yeah, that feels pretty like staying normal, I guess. I've been shifting it though. I just down shit normal and just let her let her eat. That's not a is that a popo? -po? No. no we're good. Wow. 
connection? I had some only track off, I'm sure, and just kicked it on. Interesting. We're spending so much, it said, nope. I know you turned me off, but we're still doing it. Do it again. Oh, yes. Who's pulling hard? Oh, my gosh. That feels good, don't it? Yeah, that feels like yours. It feels yeah. freaking aggressive, dude. That's, that's nuts. It feels like a 500 horsepower car with a lot of torque, like more than 500 pound feet torque. Oh, that's, what feels it, good. that's what it feels like. I want to hear, I'll film, I'll film it. I want to hear what this exhaust sounds like okay. on the outside too. So let's do some, let's do some drive-bys. There we go. So that's, so that's sport mode, stock exhaust with just the catalyst downpipe. Definitely still needs more exhaust though. <laughs> Sounds good. Damn. Sounds good. Got a little spoiler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. There you have it. That's the video. Appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, make sure to like, share, subscribe. But this is, I think, our new recipe for fun here. So. Enjoying the Catalyst life now, so more power with the E85, and we have a lot of turbo noise from Armor Speed. So this is our combination, our winning combination here, which is kind of a proven recipe amongst the Supra community at this point with the JB4. So guys, check out, again, the video descriptions if you're interested in any of the products that you see here and how to save money. Until next video, though, I'll see you next time. God bless all of you. Stay safe out there. Goodbye.